Hi guys, <coughs> sorry. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to run Ubuntu Nati 11.04 on a Galaxy Tab, the original Galaxy Tab GTP 1000. First of all, you have to download this app, Linux installer, from uh, the market, it's free. Then you have to download Terminal Emulator, it's also free from the market. And then you have to download Android VNC, it's also free in the market. Okay, let's start. Basically you install uh, Ubuntu on a Linux loop. Uh, once you download Linux installer, it has uh, inst so after you've installed you've created the loop and installed your favorite distribution of Ubuntu or Debian I chose Ubuntu Nati because I like it you have to go to terminal emulator and uh, set up your VNC, con uh, VNC connection you will do this wait a second Anyway, I can't find it, but uh, you will set it up like wait, sorry. Like this, you see it. You will go to a terminal emulator and type this. It starts from echo. Okay. I'm gonna leave it here a little so that you can understand. You start with this. Okay. Once you've done all that, you want to set, wait, you type so to get a super user, you will go to the folder you installed uh, your Ubuntu, like this. And then, to run the Ubuntu, you have to type Linux CH root. Basically, it's the name of the script you use to boot into Ubuntu. Okay. We are now in Ubuntu. So. Once you set your VNC session, just like I showed you before, you have to configure the resolution. So, Galaxy Tab has uh, 1024 by 600. So, you're going to type VNC server geometry. Four by six hundred. Okay. I forgot to tell you uh, when you manage to reach at this point when you see root local host. Sorry, let's leave this for later. You will have to configure 
the file sources dot list on your own. So what will you do? You will type uh, nano first apt get install nano okay once you've installed nano you will type nano slash etc slash apt slash sources sorry sources dot list you will come here see when you first install Ubuntu it hasn't got all these sources you have to add it yourself okay take a look at them okay we go back now So once you've done all this, let's go. You should also install apt get install gnome so that you can have a graphic with user interface. Okay. After all this, you do VNC server. Sorry, you have to install a tight VNC server as well. So when you install GNOME, then you do this apt get install tight VNC server. Okay. And then you go VNC server. Geometry one thousand twenty four by six hundred. You see here, new X desktop is localhost seven. Okay, so you will put it to port five nine zero seven if it's a uh, localhost 4 you would put it to 5904 but now it's 5907 okay let's go to android vnc and <sighs> nickname linux age root password 6 time 0 okay address localhost port 5907 username linux chroot then connect and you have booted into ubuntu nati so